come in? I wondered if I was able to ask a question, which was, Lord Putnam, you um, talked about Boris Johnson personally blocking this report on um, Russia, and I wondered if you had any ideas why Boris Johnson might be personally invested in blocking a report on Russian interference in British politics. And I could offer up a couple of suggestions as to why that might be, but perhaps you have some ideas first. I left for you the, the uh, Hansard uh, debate, which is very, I think, very interesting. My belief is it's been blocked because it begs real questions of the legitimacy of the uh, original referendum, uh, just as you were saying. And I think the last thing in the world that Boris Johnson wants is a debate about the legitimacy of that result. Be Sorry. Because Boris Johnson, of course, was Foreign Secretary after the referendum in 2016, and that was during the period, for example, that we know that Aaron Banks and Andy Wigmore were continuing to visit the Russian embassy in London whilst they were also campaigning for Donald Trump in America. And that is the Russian ambassador who was named in the uh, Mueller report as a conduit we between... We want to just care the... naming people here in the... Uh, this, in is, the this is the Russian ambassador to London who's named yeah. by Robert Mueller as, a, um, as an intermediary between the Trump campaign and the Kremlin. Um, we only have a few minutes.